we have having just three circles surfaces and I'm gonna need to connect this two together and going to this third one so I'm gonna try to use this with the bar surfacing use my tools here to complete this process so let me show you how I can do this using constraint bar surfacing okay so first I'm going to select slender because this is the nearest thing to these slenders and I'm gonna apply on it All right so let me take this near to them a little bit I'm just gonna first remove any perspective and now I'm going to delete this and this then select a body delete these two bodies okay now I'm gonna scale it down to match and the other slender underneath it okay so if we just switch to sub D mode you're gonna try to make it the same just near to it not exactly okay and now I'm gonna copy this to the other circle and repeat the same process so I have my circle here just need to be a little bit bigger all right and the same exact thing to the last one Okay, <clears throat> so now I have these three circles and they match it. I'm going to just move them a little bit underneath, like this. And I'm going to select import reference. So I got my reference, I'm going to select the three circles. Okay, and I'm going to select this edge loop and constrain it to the face and the same and the others okay and then from here it's a bar surfacing stuff so I just constrain it to the circles with dimensions I just added and the rest of the stuff is I'm bar surfacing thing so I'm gonna get the box mode again and trying to get uh, extrude it to merge these together first so it's, it can be done uh, with different ways so the first way is I can like extrude this rotate it a little Stir this again, rotate a little and select both and bridge and I'm gonna use one bridge here <clears throat> okay and let me count this <clears throat> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight edges. So I'm gonna need eight edges on here. So if we just deleted this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess I can select from here to here and bridge also. So now I just bridge it this, and this is how it's look like with the sub mode and of course I can control if I need to insert another edge 
loop or I can go back and rebridge it and add more edge loop okay so from here I can manipulate my shape however I need or I want like this and so you have this view you can just get this a little like this move this unnecessary stuff and this one need to be like this so we have everything looks good okay so it's all run smoothly without any issues if i need to you had a soft, soft selection with this one and to just get a little bit down with it like this and make it a little bit smoother okay and from this side, as you see, everything looks great. Now I can convert my parts like that. And I can go to the surface menu <clears throat> and net the surfaces. So I can merge the entities and then try to thickness them. So I need to thickness about maybe three millimeters inside. And let's see if it's gonna work. All right, so I have my board and everything just merge it together with nice way. and still have my circles that I did with SOLIDWORKS so, so it's not blending between them and as you see you can't get a difference between the SOLIDWORKS and the bar surfacing and it's also the boundaries are great Okay, now if we just go back, at the power future, I'm going to click edit, we can connect this with different way. So if I just delete this and this and this now just delete this body I can make a bridge between them all at the same time so I'm gonna try to do some kind of thing here I just selected this two with this two and bridge Okay, and the same at the other way. This two with this two and bridge and add two more edges. And this one or maybe this two also with this two. Bridge them and Maybe this one going to be great. Was, uh, I'm going to keep doing this. <clears throat> now I need to connect this. Maybe this one with this one. And add two more. That was the minus, I guess. Minus 50. And minus 50. Okay. 
You can even adjust it a little bit manually like that. All right. And from here to here, I get bridge. Here to here, bridge two. And now you have alternate quads. I can just easily close them with the quad fill. Now we just need a little bit more bridge here. So I'm gonna close this too. And Close this quad and maybe <clears throat> inserting more edge here and from here to here bridge quad fill and from here to here bridge and quad fill this too. And let me do the same here bridge this and quad full. So what I did now is I just connected them with different way. So it is the same, it's the same thing. It just a, if we just get, go to the sub D mode, you can see now I just connected my port without any issues. I can go to the box mode again to just the shape I'm gonna need to insert another edge here like this a little now you have all the angles I can control how I want it from the all angles okay adding more circles here and move this a little bit And now from this view and change the view, change again. All right. So this is how I just closed this three pipes with different way. So of course I can um, can make whatever I want on this section here. I can even make this like this bigger or something if I just need to adjust or manipulate it. But if I just see that it's good like that, I can keep it. So if we just convert it, we can select this two to face. Maybe remove these two edges. So it's gonna be smoother. And what if we add something like a curve here? Okay, now convert. I'm gonna delete the thickness and re them. 